it's very 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 predictable <laughs> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina. If this is your first time seeing me, so for today's video, I'm giving you my review on the new Netflix movie Purple Heart. So this movie has been everywhere and it, it has been so hyped. So I'm like, okay, let me just give my own review because this is not this is not my kind of video though. But I was like, whatever, just just do it, okay, just do it. So this is me giving my honest very 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 honest i'm about to hurt some people's feelings but it's what it is if this is something you're interested in please keep on watching first of all i'm going to be giving like a summary of the movie um spoiler alert obviously so if you do not want to hear shit about this movie just stop watching this video right now it's just if you hate spoilers but if you do not care or you've already seen the movie and you just want to hear my honest opinion continue as a little rundown of the movie the movie stars sofia carson as cassandra salazar and nicholas galitzin as luke morrow i remember sofia carson from the iconic disney movie descendant i mean she's basically disney's royalties nicholas from cinderella the cinderella the, the 2021 cinderella um with camila cabello at least that's how i remember him that's the um last movie i saw him i'll be the only movie i've ever seen him. what the fuck so apparently cassandra has type 1 diabetes she's a daughter of a struggling working class immigrant she speaks english too thank you a talented musician who is just waiting for her breakthrough He's in a band called The Loyal and they are really really good They play at a bar she works at Of that she had other part-time jobs just to be able to pay rent, buy food and of course her insulin which is as you know really actually very expensive And Luke, um, Nicholas, he is a marine He was a drug addict but he, he has been sober for two years His father cut, cut him off because during his drug days he did a lot that's why he actually thought of becoming a marine just to prove to his father that he wasn't so bad that it was just drugs and he when he was really really into drugs he stole his father's a mechanic he stole his father's one of his father's clients car which cost about i think twenty thousand dollars or something like that and wrecked it and the man is really really strict so he told him to pay and when he did that he cut him off completely he had to borrow money from a certain drug dealer and then he had to go i think he had to go to rehab so he wasn't able to pay the guy back and when he came back the guy was like disturbing him and asking him for his money like where's my shit where's my your huh. life's in ship shape except uh you owe me 15 grand so is that i need that money bro. don't worry john i had to play next week so i'll get you something by then i don't understand why luke was just so <laughs> so scared in front of this big drug dealer apparently like i mean you are a marine you trained your whole life for this although you're trying to be a good person but guy was just literally bullying him and just i think i was like is it i i thought you were a marine like you train with guns and shit so why can't you do something about it luke and cassandra met at a bar sorry luke and cassandra met at the bar she worked at she met him through one of her friends um frankie who she babysat when she was like i think a teenager or something like that and she, um frankie and luke were apparently bong mates first scene of them meeting at that bar was so cringe to me i won't lie i mean i i care about feminism but let's be honest it was unnecessary at that scene like her character is a political feminist like she's against um guns and she doesn't see the use to go to wars and kill other people in other countries blah, blah. so it was a lot and she was judging them because she did not like um, marrying guys a session they just felt forced because of her boldness and his cockiness that didn't start all good quickly bickering at the bar when it, when it actually comes down to fighting for these rights you don't want to do anything right because guns are mean you're a pacifist i guess it's our job to 
go off and fight those battles for you, right? Because you have a little piece of tattoo on your back to prove it. On my ass, actually. Which you can't touch, but you can kiss. He didn't start off good at all, but I think he liked her at first glance, but when she brought up that her bad bridge feminism vibe, he was like, okay, I'm out. I do not like girls like this or something like that. So he he stayed in his lane. Um, Cassie was broke, like I said, really, really broke. And he's struggling to pay for her insulin for months now. And I think she, I don't know how it works abroad, but um, with the whole um health insurance I, I don't know if she was trying to she was owing health insurance I, I really don't know how health insurance works because we don't do that here in my country you just go to the hospital and pay for your both i'm sure some people have health insurance but i'm not educated on it but i think she was owing insurance so i think it, it could not cover up for the insulin or it was not enough to cover up for her insulin so she had to look for another means and she was broke so she couldn't pay for it in the movie as you marry in america you make um you get free benefits like free healthcare benefits and other little things you get some money in the month and la 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 so the idea clicked to her and she went to frankie's house and asked him if they pretend to get married so she could get the free health benefit just to pay for her insulin and then they split whatever cash you get from the government so luke was there apparently and he was strongly against the idea and she told him to bought off so she could talk to her friend but frankie apparently had a girlfriend so he was like there is no way he could leave his relationship and come to marry her at a cat he doesn't he's not sure his girlfriend will understand like he would have done it for her but he just can't he just he cannot actually and she was like it's fine but this big bag drug addict was on luke's neck and he was like where on earth am i going to get this money to actually pay this guy and then he clicked in his head that cassie needed money for drugs like she needed the financial the health um free health insurance you get if you marry a marine he was like okay i could marry cassie and then get the money and then she could get the free health benefit so she he approached her and they talked about the idea and it was perfect to them obviously guess the rest from it they fell in love during the process they were caught la 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 like it's very 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 predictable they fell in love everybody found out um cassie became a pop star luke went to jail for both of them like he was like it was his idea he convinced her and she fell for it la 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 happy ending for cassie right there but as for luke hmm so i'm not loving my makeup today for some reason it just won't blend and <sighs> let's not go there i'm going to finish the rest of the look off camera and then come back and tell you guys what i loved about the movie and what i really really didn't like about the movie okay um this took like 10 minutes because i wasn't feeling makeup anymore and i'm still not besides so let's just continues i expected something more amazing because it was so hyped on tiktok i was like okay okay let me just give this movie a chance and it was it wasn't it was okay but it was just too predictable i think we have seen enough predictable movies like why do you have to make another one like i i just don't know i want i want something massive i want something explosive i'm not talking about guns I'm, i mean i want something like i'm like oh god i'll predict it and it's actually not what i thought it was but this one was just i was just predicting i was just literally watching it and excuse me are we watching high school musical what's what's up with all the musical what's up with all the music like okay i get she's a musician and i get that okay once in a while they have to play one or two songs but what they kept on repeating a particular song and in, in, a, in a part and then play it again like fully like without any break i'm like you could just maybe cut the the song i don't know if they're trying to make the movie longer i was like two hours like from this movie that is two hours i expect something nice but it was just filled with the songs and everything she became a rock star so she was performing on big stages i'm like okay but the song repeating of the song it felt like a musical to me oh i'm a diehard disney fan the songs were nice though but i'm like <sighs> could you just let us breathe like i haven't seen a romance movie since titanic that wasn't so damn predictable i'm starting to hate rom-coms at this point and it really has no moral story like you commit fraud and you go to jail and you get six months okay 
like Luke wasn't very lucky, but Cassie gets to live the fairy tale. She got the happy ending. She got the man. She got her career. She got money. And after that he had to go to prison alone. Like they were sitting like in a courtroom and hearing basically. So he stood up and was like, um, um, Cassie has nothing to do with this. La la la. And Cassie just sat down there and like just shaking her head. I expected like her to stand up to him and be like, um it's it's both of us you know like just stand up just try to fight for him i get it that your your parents are immigrants or your mom is an immigrant and it's it might be hard for you unlike it's easy for um luke who is maybe from america so you you just but just regardless where was your femininity there where was that bold girl thing you were giving us in the first scene i expected her to be like I'll, I'll own up to my own bullshit this is my bullshit let me just own up to it but it was just her sitting out there shaking her head and i was like what the fuck is this because girl if you are that girl that you showed us in the first scene you wouldn't you wouldn't want a guy to just want to stand up for someone you actually love but it was just her just sitting down there and just smiling and shaking her head and i'm like oh my god i saw that explosion like i said but it was just pale moody and la 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 and from that point you could predict the whole fucking movie like when i mean predict i mean predict it like you could ju you could just pause it there and just sit down and just think about the end and whatever you thought about is exactly what happened and i really loved about the movie was the brought awareness to diabetes especially type 1 diabetes um it's something my family and i kind of struggle with so i it's i've never actually don't get me wrong i've never actually watched any movie that they actually talked about diabetes like this like um it was just they just brought so much awareness to diabetes people do not understand how serious diabetes is it just some people when they think of diabetes they think of oh too much sugar in your body period it means i should stop taking sugar you forget to take your insulin you forget to there's some certain things you have to cut down like it's a lot but people just take it for granted and they brought so much awareness to that and i would say the acting was like uh an eight over ten um that's not the general grading of the movie actually this is just the acting it was like an eight over ten i love how they kept on fighting even as married couples they didn't fake this um exposing love la 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 because she's a feminist and he's a cocky guy and he doesn't like he loves to like i think be the man of the house or something they still did not agree to a lot of things so it was it felt natural that's the only i think that's the only part of that film that felt natural they kept on arguing and just through arguing they fell in love slowly and naturally i actually love that so i'll give this movie if i'm rating it over 100 i'm giving it a 55.5 over 100 five that five points is for the acting and the the rest is for me to take home because I do not understand. I expected something better. Maybe because my expectations were so high for the movie and I watched it and I was like, what is this? In the beginning is like, okay, a little cockiness. Let's see how this goes. And from there, you just start predicting it. Like, like it was just a lot. I hate um, cheesiness and it was so cringe. Like, seriously. I, well, good luck to them, like, for the movie going viral and all. I felt like the movie was going viral because of Sophia Carson, because of her history with disney and you know um everybody loves their disney characters and everybody loves to kiss ass with disney characters so i felt that was why the movie was going viral although she's an amazing actress and an amazing musician i love her songs i've listened to a few of her songs and she's really really good but the, the movie and i heard she even i think wrote it or produced it but it was just so cringe so if you're ready for a cringe time of your life you could see this movie but if this explanation and the whole review i have given is enough for you then you're good to go because the movie is already making money whether you see it or not <laughs> oh guys thank you so much for watching i hope i see you in my next one tell me if you guys love series like this and i'll keep on watching movies and reviewing it because it's something i do i watch movies for a living i watch movies a lot and i thought i'd just give this episode a try and see how it performs in my channel so thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye and that my friends is a wrap <laughs>